Hi friends, this is Jackie Williams and today I want to share with you a quick video about heat embossing. So I'm starting out with a piece of white card stock and the first tool you need is called the emboss buddy and this is just a porous bag filled with chalk and what this does when you rub it on your card stock is removes any wetness or any um, sticky fingerprints or any extra ink or anything like that where anything where the powder might stick where you don't want it. The second thing you need is the Versamark ink and of course a stamp. I'm using the Cheery Chirps. I'm using this one today. A nice cute new one for Christmas. Actually it doesn't even have to be Christmas. So we'll ink up our stamp with the Versamark. Now the Versamark powder, I mean Versamark ink pad is clear, so when I stamp this down, you won't really see anything, but it will leave behind the sticky ink. Okay, so then when we take our powder, for the embossing powder, we carry gold, silver, copper, and also white and clear, so five different types. Then we're just gonna sprinkle the powder over where we have stamped tap off any extra and it will stick. Then the next thing we need is a heat tool. Now a lot of people ask if you can use a hair dryer and you can't. It just doesn't get hot enough. Now heat rises so you want to position your tool so that you're maximizing your heat. You don't want to wave it around a whole lot because it needs to heat up to the enough temperature to melt the, that powder back down to a plastic. Okay, so at this point it's half done and half not done. So hopefully you can see in the video, this half is shiny and coppery and raised. And this part over here looks still very dull and brown and powdery. So that's the part, part that's not done. Okay, so times when you want to heat emboss is one, if you want to really um, intense color like something that uh, covers up anything that's underneath so a really opaque color it also has a bit of a dimension to it so it adds that extra texture to your project it's also really great to watercolor i mean for watercoloring because it creates a little bit of a ridge your ink kind of just pools in these little different sections here or for any type of coloring really but it also gives that nice metallic look to your project now just a few other examples using heat embossing. This is a card I did that also uses the copper for the words. So you see it just gives it that little bit of extra interest. And this one I've done background, this time in gold, and I've brushed most of the powder off. So rather than a really intense opaque look, it's just kind of um, a real distressed vintage look. This project was done also in the copper powder, and this time it's been run through an embossing folder, and then the Versamark just put on the raised bits of the folder and then powder over top. This project uses white embossing powder in the background and then inked over the top, and the embossing powder resists the ink. And then finally, this project uses silver and copper powder over silver foil, and again, this time it's just done in uh, like speckles and sprinkles rather than a, a solid look. So I hope that gives you some inspiration and ideas on how to use your embossing powders. This is Jackie. Thanks for watching.